us are gonna draw kid jump roping. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along with us because art is always better with... Friends. Friends, yeah, like you. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use a marker. You also need some... Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yeah. Because we're using markers to draw and color with, we're also using marker paper to draw on. And we're first gonna start by drawing our kid's face. We're gonna draw the mouth first. <laughs> and I'm gonna start here and draw a smile. You're always happy when you're jump roping, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and you could leave it just like this, or I'm gonna draw my kid's mouth open really big. <laughs> Next, let's draw teeth. I'm gonna draw another curve inside for the top teeth. And then I'm gonna draw a curve down here for the tongue. Then let's draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw one circle this size and the same size for the right eye. Our kid's head is gonna be pretty big and so we're gonna to have to draw the jump rope really big also. <laughs> let's also draw a smaller circle in the top left for each eye. I like doing this because it makes the eyes look shiny and also friendly. Let's color in the big circle, but leave that little oval or circle white. I like that you added eyelashes too. Now that part we've sped up, so remember you can pause the video for extra time. Now let's draw the shape of our kid's head. I'm gonna draw a curve going underneath for the chin and also the cheeks on each side. Next, let's draw the top of our kid's head. I'm gonna draw a upside down U or rainbow line for the rest of the head. Next, let's draw the hair. And I'm drawing a boy, but you could draw a girl. So you could change your hair any way you want. You could draw straight hair, or I'm gonna draw zigzag lines like this, and then maybe zigzag lines going this way, and then connect to the side. Oh, that's really cute. And let's also add ears. I'm gonna draw the letter C and backwards C. And you could also add earrings if you want. I'm gonna oh, yeah. draw a little curve inside for the center of the ear. And now let's draw the body. We're gonna draw two lines coming down first. We're gonna draw them coming down like this. And I'm kind of curving them off to the side. Yes, and let's draw the legs also. I'm gonna draw one leg coming out to the side here. And let's draw a short line coming down. And then we're gonna draw this coming back in and curving up towards the center. And then we're gonna draw another line going down like this. And then let's draw a short line across and then connect up to the belly line. <laughs> Let's also draw <laughs> shoes on our kid. I'm gonna draw a little curve that comes around and then back in, and the same thing right here. We're trying to make our kid look like they're jumping. Yeah, there we go. And we can also, let's draw a waistline or the bottom of the t-shirt. And then we could also add shorts, so lines on each leg. Oh, I'm gonna draw sock lines too. Another line further down. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the arms. We're gonna draw one arm that comes out to here. And, ooh, these are really long arms. And one line out to here. You kinda gotta make them long so that the jump rope can come around the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then let's draw the t-shirt line. I'm gonna draw a short line down and then connect into the shirt. And then we'll do the same thing over here on this side. Short line down and into the shirt. And then we can draw the rest of the arm and hand. I'm gonna curve around like this and then into the t-shirt. And we'll do the same thing over here. We're not gonna draw any fingers sticking out because they've got their hands closed hanging onto the jump rope. Yeah. And we could do that. Let's draw a little curve here and a little curve over here. And then we can draw two lines. We're just gonna keep it simple. It's not five fingers, but <laughs> it's a cartoon, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Next, let's add the jump rope. Let's first draw the handle. I'm going to draw a short line up, over, and back down. It looks like a little square. And then we can do the same thing below the hand so that it looks like the handle is going through our kid's hand. And let's do the same thing over here. Small little rectangle or square shape on top and also on bottom. Yeah, now you could draw the jump rope coming around like this and underneath our kid, or we could draw it coming up and over the kid. What should we do? Let's make it go over. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna draw it coming out this way. We're gonna come out around like this. Whoa, we gotta make it really big going around the whole head and then back in. We did it, <laughs> that's awesome. Now if you want, you could add longer hair coming out to the side or a ponytail up high, whatever you want to do. I'll add a ponytail. Okay. That looks really cute. I like how you drew that. We did it, Hadley. We finished drawing our kid jump roping. Well, we're not completely done. We still need to color them. Yes, my favorite part. We are gonna fast forward, so remember at the end, you can pause the video if you want to use our drawings as inspiration, or you could color your drawings any way you want. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Hadley, we did it! We finished drawing and coloring our kids jump roping, and yours is my favorite. Aw, oh, thank you. I like your stick. Ah, thanks. Now you can pause the video to use our drawings as inspiration for yours, or remember you can color your drawings any way you want. You can even add a background. Oh, a background would be awesome. Maybe your kid is jump roping at the park. <laughs> Now we used our Art for Kids Hub markers. They're alcohol based. If you have the same set and you wanna use the same colors that we use, I use 103 for the skin tone. And then I also use 92, which is a darker brown for the hair. Also use 74 blue for the shirt and CG1 for the shorts. I think you also use that same gray. I use 311 for my skin tone. Yeah, and then what color did you use for the hair? 33 yellow. And my shirt was pink, 121. Yeah, I love it. It really looks super cute. But if you don't have our Art for Kids Hub markers, that's okay. You could use a different brand of marker. You could also use color pencils, crayons, or even oil pastels. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing a kid jump roping. We do, and we hope you take extra time to color your drawings and even add a background. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.